Hello, students and parents. Uh, I want to take a, a moment to do this instructional video on how uh, to quickly and easily update a video or photo that you have taken on your phone to an assignment in LMS. All right, and we're going to need to have the Google um, Drive app on your phone or your iPad. Which, uh, this will work on both the uh, uh, iPhone and iPad, um, but you'll need to have that already on your phone for this to work. So that's a prerequisite. All right, let me show you my phone. Okay. This is my iPhone. And I'm going to make a quick video. And then I'm going to um, upload that video to Google Docs and then go into LMS and attach it to my document. So let's do the video first. Wait. Let's make a sideways video because YouTube likes sideways videos. Hey everyone, if you are interested in a quick how to video on uploading a, a phone video or photo to an LMS assignment, then there is a brand new video called Uploading a Video to LMS on YouTube and go check it out right now. Okay, so there's my video. Now I'm going to get out of the phone app. I should find it. Yep, there it is right there at 18 seconds. If you are interested in a quick how-to video on uploading a, pho a phone video or photo to an <laughs> Not very eloquent, but it'll work. Okay, so I'm going to go into this video. I'm going to click the, the box with an up arrow, bottom left corner. And I'm going to look for Google Drive. There it is. Touch that. Now I have multiple accounts, Google accounts on my phone, so it's going to ask me which one um, that I want to upload it to. Take a second. There we go. All right. So I'm going to choose my personal one. There's my video file, and it's ready to upload. Okay. Now you can just upload it to the root of your drive by uh, where like it is now or you can select a particular folder so I'm going to select my drive and and uh, put it in a folder um, I'm just going to drop it in classes yeah there's a lot of folders in there but there's no videos so and then I'm going to I'm going to touch save here and then when I come back here you'll see that classes is now the folder that's going to save it in and then I'm going to press upload. Now, this is where, if it's going to fail, this is where it's going to fail. Okay, it's going to take just, just a minute for this to uh, upload. And we're going to wait. While we're waiting, let me tell you a couple of things. One is, if this phone goes to sleep, if the, if the screen clicks off, it's not going to work. Okay, so... What I've done since I'm having to do this a lot, I've actually gone in and turned off my um, auto, the auto lock feature um, and it doesn't go to sleep. It, it's bad on your battery, but if you don't wanna have to be dealing with this issue, for now at least while we're stuck at home and you uh, hopefully can trust the people at your house, um, you might wanna turn that off. Otherwise, you're constantly gonna be touching it and as soon as you get distracted by your television show and you forget to touch it and it goes to sleep, you're starting over, okay? so. Um, my suggestion is to go ahead and turn that off, but you know, it's up to you. You don't want to. It's getting very close. I think in the, in the pitch, I said this was a quick and easy way. It's easy, might not be quick. But so far we haven't gotten into LMS at all, so this can't be blamed on LMS. There we go. So the video now is safely in Google Drive, okay? So I'm finished with my phone app, and now I'm going to go into my browser, open up LMS, and I'm gonna attach it. And, and so this attaching process should be just like the one that you go through when you attach it for uh, an assignment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it by this post, okay? So you see, if I click the, the attach file option, this is what you're presented with when you're attaching a file to um, 
your LMS assignment. This screen is exactly the same screen that you see whenever you're attaching a file to an assignment. So you choose the Google Drive option instead of browse down there at the bottom, the Google Drive. All right, now I'm going to click over here A through Z and choose the top option and that will sort them in order from the most recent file to the, the uh, um, oldest file. And you'll see my video, uh, IMG 2805 is the top one in the list. And I'm gonna touch it and I'm gonna hit select. You see that it added it right there. And then I have to put some text in because it's a post. So this is my post. And then I'm going to click post. And you'll see that it's already in Google Drive, so it shouldn't take all that long for it to attach. Let's just see how long it takes. It's done. My post is there, and there's my file. So this is the, the best way for you to send something to LMS, uh, is to upload it first to Google Drive, and then go into your app, go into LMS, and attach it through Google Drive, all right? I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email or text me. My information is on my um, virtual classroom page on the website. Uh, love you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you very much. Have a great one.